price. Fast food is now so overpriced that it is often cheaper to go to a sit-down restaurant than it is to drive through fast food. In fact, menu prices at 12 fast food chains have increased by an average of 60% since 2014. McDonald's prices doubling in a 10-year period, Popeye's up 86%, Taco Bell up 81%, and prices at Subway and Starbucks climbing 39%. This has left nearly 80% of consumers considering these drive through meals a luxury. There's a lot of pressure on restaurants to get consumers back. And, you know, they're going to look for any way they can to do this. That means loyalty apps, new products, and plenty of deals. Domino's boosting business by revamping its loyalty program, with pizza redemption made easier, faster, and at a lower spending point. Subway giving $2 off for every 400 loyalty points, and five, seemingly the magic number for fast food meals. This deal is low, even when your wallet isn't. Two full meals, $5.99 each. Kind of feels like everyone's trying to copy the $5 piggy bag. Fry fiends, pizza patrons, and burger buyers are noticing. And let me tell y'all why this is a good deal. With this much food that's only $5, it's definitely worth it. drive through chains, not the only ones to serve up savings. Casual dining, touting bang for the buck. Red Robin is winning with more than 30 bottomless items. Chipotle offering BOGO buy one, get one free meals. And Applebee's touting fixed price meals for under $12. Fast and casual dining this summer, working hard with hot new deals to keep your wallet cool. Hmm. All right, well, the fast foods, they are trying to get you back in there. Oh, yeah. Do you guys have a favorite fast food chain or no? Mm hmm. What is this? What's yours? I'm surprised uh, you have I'm, one. I know. I'm a vegan, but I can eat at Chick-fil-A. The waffle oh. fries are vegan. They're made with sea salt, and I love the Cobb salad with a couple amendments. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I do like Chick-fil-A. Yeah. I think... Yeah, they'll probably be my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Really? They also have a veggie wrap that I really like with oh. a vegan tortilla wrap. I've never tried their uh, wraps. Me neither. But I hear that they are good. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Hmm. Like wow. balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Way to go, Chick fil A. It's recently grown on me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a big fan of Chick fil A, but I think it's because in college we had Chick fil A there. On True. The campus. So, so, so I ate it a lot and mm -hmm. I got tired of it. Yeah. But I would say my favorite fast food chain, don't judge me. It's Whatever. Da -na 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 -na. No. It's Jack in the Box. <gasps> that is like people's least favorite, Brianna. What? I I kid you not. I've had pretty much everything on the Jack in the Box menu. What? Yeah. I'd never have heard anyone say that their favorite is Jack in the Box. Same. Really? Like, I love Jack in the Box. Their curly fries and milk cheese and bacon is so good. Yeah. Is their tortillas, or not the tortillas, the tacos are so good. Yeah. What? The buttery Jack burger. I'm going to stop. Next, you're going <laughs> to say Burger <laughs> King or something? Oh. No. Third Taco Bell for you? Oh. I know. No, I'm this on Taco Bell, I, I know. Well, you might as well say that. Well, okay, Taco Bell used to have these fiery local okay. tacos. <laughs> oh, okay, Jeremiah. I'm a big, what about I'm a you, big Jeremiah? fan of fast food. Mm. Jeremiah. I like to eat, yeah. <laughs> Me that's too. fine, that's yeah. fine. I like to eat as Me well. Too. Yes. <laughs> well, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for NBC 23 News today. I'm Jeremiah Marshall. I'm meteorologist Brand Medina. <laughs> and I'm your lifestyle host, Danielle Bonda. Well, we established we all like to eat. Yes. yes. Do we like to all have a nice, cool beverage every once in a while responsibly? Yes. Okay. Well, that's good news because it's National Tequila Day. Oh! oh! What a great day. I know! <laughs> Uh, fun fact, tequila actually used to, in the olden days, uh, be used for like um, like wounds because it had the, we, when they didn't have like um, mm. medicine, yeah. the alcoholic properties right, would, right, right. would kill to toxins and bacteria of a wound. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's why you guys were excited? Because uh, yeah, we are just so excited that there's also a national day for everything. Yeah. So <laughs> we like good national days and this awesome. is a good one. This is it, a good one. You should have started with that one. <laughs> that national Cousin Day was more exciting. <laughs> No? All right, that's for okay. some. Yeah. But I think for all. <laughs> tequila. Tequila. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Cool. There you go. Da, da, da. Tequila. You know what? My <laughs> friend. I, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my, my friend's dog, sorry. My friend's dog, her name is Keela because she she was she didn't know what to name her and there were some at the store at the store when after she adopted the dog mm -hmm. and they named her just Keela after it after Tequila. tequila. I thought that, yeah, it's so random, but it kind of kind Keela. of works. It's kinda of cool name. It and it's with a Q name. also. Keela. Oh. Tequila. Keela. So yeah. I just took out the Keela. T E. Uh huh. The te. Isn't that cool? Mm, that is cool. Mm, that yeah. is. Anyway, wow. sorry. Could Fuck you put that. tequila in a raspa? Ooh. Is, is that I want to say yes. If Brianna says yes, then I say uh, yes. Yeah. 
Brianna is our RASPA expert. Yeah. It's not <laughs> we can put anything at RASPA, really. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I'm thinking of like, um, like, I was gonna say a michilada, but mm. a michilada, well, because it has like that slushy ice also and tomato yeah. juice. Tomato juice, yeah. <laughs> the spicy. How do you V8? Okay, With it's not V8. I think it's like clavato <laughs> or something. Yeah, uh, yes. It's clavato, so it's and spicy. Beer. Yeah, and beer. In a Veggie raspa? Juice. I'm trying to picture it. It's not coming yeah, out well. Or like a Smirnoff preparada. Maybe, my brain maybe, hurts. Maybe she should stick to weather. Ah, <laughs> yes. It's because you're not from the valley. You don't get it. <laughs> I'm sure my valley viewers will understand. I'm from the valley. Oh, Danielle's from the valley. Oh. She doesn't understand. <laughs> so it's not. I love just you, Brianna. Me. Just what? Just you don't know what I'm talking about? Mm -mm. <laughs> but as a as a as a raspa. Well, it has like eyes. Like, like when you go mm -hmm. to like a drive-through, they'll mm -hmm. have like those things. It's also National Drive-Through Day. Wow. Anyway. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Wow. Anyway, go. sorry. Two sorry, one. sorry, sorry. Move on. Okay, well, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes you can yes. drive through, get your food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hopefully, there's an awning there so you can avoid the rain. Oh, yes, because it's going to rain today, not just for this morning. We're going to have more rain and storms oh, filter. Exactly, yeah. We're starting to see water droplets on our far bureau cam, and we're starting to see the rain become a little widespread, but it's widely scattered, so don't expect a whole whole lot of rain for this morning. Most of the rain is sticking to the south in Cameron County. So there's some rain, there's some storms and pockets of heavy rainfall. So give yourself some extra time before heading out the door. And there are a few isolated showers in McAllen, Ennyburg, Westlaco, even Harlingen. But remember, more rain and storms will come later on today. And that's all thanks to daytime heating. That is what's going to trigger the rain and the storms. But this is all thanks to tropical moisture that's coming in from the Gulf and it's causing us to have elevated rain chances, but not only for today, but for the next six